this portion of the day is my favorite. Um, I think that uh, people that serve the public are some of the uh, most uh, under-publicized heroes in the world. Uh, you all go to work day in and day out and in many times don't get the credit that you deserve for the work that you do. You make a huge difference in people's lives and I don't think uh, very often that uh, the, the public at large gets to know about all of the good things you do. I've been working with you for 30 years now and, and I have come to not only respect but care for many of you deeply. So um, this, this is where I get uh, the reward of getting to interact with you. All right, drum roll. The moment you've all been waiting for. We have four awards tonight. Uh, we have an Innovative Team Award. We have an Innovation in Education. We have a Transformative Leader Award and an Innovative Leader Award. And I'm not going to do the La La Land joke. I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, first of all, innovative team. <laughs> and if nothing else, they get this award for perseverance. California Department of Transportation. Come on up. Thank you. Congratulations. Are the schools in here? Somebody's in here. Yay. All right. Um, for those of you that um, haven't been to a PSP event, we try and engage our youth in these educational forums uh, each and every time so they understand both um, some of the aspects of technology, uh, in this case aspects of leadership, um, and also uh, an, an opportunity for them to learn about what California government does. Uh, I know many of you, based on the votes that we got, uh, took time to actually go by and talk to these young adults, um, and were very, very impressed with the kinds of innovative things they're doing nowadays that I never had a chance at. So I'm very, uh, I'm very excited that they were able to participate and the most innovative school, and this was a tough choice because I understand the voting was <laughs> within one, Innovative in Education, Florin High School. Congratulations.
these last two awards uh, are very exciting for me personally because I know both of these indiv individuals very, very well. Uh, and I couldn't be happier that they're getting these awards because they truly represent the title of the award. For, uh, transform for transformative leader, um, <laughs> this individual I've known for a couple of decades now. Um, he took me under his wing early on when he saw that he had a uh, real rookie <laughs> that was uh, having to interact with him. Um, he mentored me, he guided me, um, he helped me understand how to work with California state government and how to be of service. Um, this, this individual has never uh, been at a loss to pitch in when California needed it. And he's been a tremendous leader in every capacity he served in. Please welcome to the stage Clark Kelso. Wow, you even have your own press pool. <laughs> okay, now before before you all go away, before you go away, all right, now Jessica, because we need one for the publication. Thank you, thank you, congratulations. And last but not least, the Innovative Leader Award is also somebody I care deeply about. Um, this, this individual has uh, demonstrated leadership in every role and capacity that I have had the opportunity to interact with them on. Um, I, I uh, had an, uh, an opportunity to reach out to somebody that cares very deeply for this individual and uh, that person agreed to present the award. So I'd like to bring up Jennifer Kent, the Director of California Department of Healthcare Services. Governor Brown appointed Jennifer Kent as the Director of California Department of Healthcare Services on January 26, 2015. Director Kent oversees a staff of 3,700 individuals at DHCS, which is responsible for the operation of Medi-Cal, the state's Medicaid program, the department manages a spending of more than $93 billion annually in public fund that supports the health of more than 13.5 million Californians. Please welcome Director Kent. So um, by way of background and introduction, I think um, it will become obvious who I'm here to both acknowledge and um, hand this award off to, you know, our department does a lot of really complicated things. We have over a hundred IT systems that are separately maintained within our department. Um, we do really complicated work and I would say that um, if we don't innovate in our department then we will fail to accomplish the mission that we have. We have 14 million give or take on any given day people that need to have their eligibility either processed or handled. We have 150,000 providers on our master file, we have 22 contracting plans, and we push out about $4 billion a month in payments. And so when you run those kinds of systems, um, running them on paper is not possible because we will fail um, every single time. 
And uh, several years ago when we were um, looking around for how can we get faster and better and more efficient, um, we looked at our provider enrollment system, which is still primarily all paper-based. And um, like everything else, providers have not gotten any more uh, simple than anybody else. And so documentation and disclosure and leases and insurance and all of those things all being transacted in paper. Um, we have stacks and stacks and stacks of it. And uh, the chief deputy of the department at this time uh, seized upon this innovative way to um, essentially create a program that would electronically allow providers to query us as they're filling out their application, to upload documents electronically, to have the application filled out by members of a group. Um, we have dropped our processing time from 180-ish days down to two. 22 days on average processing. Um, and we are really excited about the other changes that we have um, with this new innovative technology. Um, that being said, all of these things take um, not only an innovative leader, but in our case, it happened to be a very um, short statured uh, cheerleader um, who um, is enthusiastic at every single turn. Um, and she led a really great team of people. And so just as Clark said in that, um, you cannot do something by yourself. We have really incredible staff. We have really dedicated people. And Karen Johnson um, was able to marshal both enthusiastic people and talented people and dedicated people. And so with this, I wanna bring her up and acknowledge her work as an innovative leader. And this is all being said for a woman that has left us and gone to Covered California um, back in January. And so we still love her and we still appreciate her. And I know that the next kind of innovative thing that will come out will be at Covered California and it will and oftentimes be due to what she has done and the work that she promotes. So thank you very much. I just asked Mike for the mic. All right, so um, one of the things that I wanna say is that, of course, given uh, the changes of innovation that is happening um, all around us and how we're handling that innovation and the disruption is, is huge. It's reshaping how we are interacting, how we're living, how, we're, how we do our work. Um, PAVE is a perfect example of how you were able to take a process and improve it 90% and have a huge return on investment. And so what I ask is that all of this cannot be possible without the strong leadership and I appreciate you know, the vision and the help that our leader Jennifer Kent um, provided to us during this time and the executive sponsor Tanya Haman and the team of pavers, as we call them, to deliver this solution to the providers so that it's easier for them to enroll. And then, in a sense, it creates better access of care to our beneficiaries, which was 14.3 million Californians. So thank you. I accept this on behalf of the team. And uh, of course, it's all possible because of everybody's drive, relentless drive, determination, commitment um, to the team to, to deliver. Thank, thank you. Hopefully now you see why this is my most favorite part of the whole event. Uh, for those of you that didn't get an award tonight, uh, you still have my utmost respect and, and love because the solutions that we saw today were tremendous. And it, it really is proof positive of the good works that you and the government of California do. 
So thank you as a citizen and thank you as the president of Public Sector Partners. Now without any further ado, drinks are on us. <laughs>